while Europe's banking supervisors aren't saying which banks are being stress tested or what form those tests are taking, of course. But that's not stopping some fierce debate over the new report card's results are due in just over a fortnight for lenders that make up around two thirds of the Eurozone's banking sector. But will they have the desired effect on the markets? That's the key question. Barclays chief Southern European economist Antonio Garcia Pasquale worked on stress tests for the IMF. He joins us live now from London's Canary Wharf. Uh, thank you so much for speaking to us. So the Committee of European Banking Supervisors has said that it's going to publish some of the methodology behind these planned stress tests. Why is that important and what sort of criteria do we need to see or does there need to be for these tests to be credible? Indeed, I think credibility is the key word. Um, basically, uh, presently there's been many uncertainties about the interplay between the fiscal accounts actually of the struggling sovereign Southern Europeans and the health in the, in the banking sector. So um, following a little bit the, the lead of the US, the European supervisors decided to actually release some information about the stress test. And if the tests, in fact, are carried, carried in a credible and transparent way, that should actually help to mitigate some, some of the issues. So indeed, the key word is credibility. And for tests to be credible, it will have to be adequately designed. That is, the inputs have to be severe, sufficiently severe, and yet plausible. Uh, the methodology has to be well coordinated across different countries in Europe. And the, the outputs, the outputs have to be sufficiently detailed and it should cover a sufficient sample of banks. Uh, so it's not enough to cover the large and complex institutions, but also the yeah. medium and small size banks, which may be what the problem is. And, and, and tell me, what is your understanding of the criteria of the stress test in terms of whether or not they'll contain sovereign default? Well, I mean, as I, as I mentioned earlier, I think in order for them to be credible, the scenarios have to, inc have to inc include also plausible scenarios. And one of them, indeed, will be, uh, will be issues regarding stress in, in sovereign, in sovereign, in sovereign uh, Southern European countries, right, and, uh, and in sovereign risk overall. So I think I would expect that to be one of the scenarios to be contemplated. So are these tests likely to ultimately restore confidence in the markets could this be a turning point yeah. i think uh following a little bit on the u.s example if the tests uh, are credible are stressful enough are severe enough and the tests come along with a clear strategy on how to resolve the problems and this is this is very important because you cannot just release the test without a strategy if it comes hand in hand both together i think it can come a long way to to actually bring some some enhanced stability for the european system Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we do appreciate Antonio Garcia Pascual, Chief Southern European Economist for Barclays Capital.